Okay. We are in 18 right now. Okay. We are in 18. Exodus 18. J Jethro, the priest of Midian, Moses' father-in-law, heard of all that God has done for Moses and for his people Israel. How the mm. Lord had brought Israel out of Egypt. After Moses had sent away his wife, Zephora, his daughter-in-law, Jeth Jethro, took her back along with her two sons. The name of the one was Gershon, for he said, I have been an alien in a foreign land. And the name of the other, um, Eliezer, for he said, the Lord of my father was my help and delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh. Verse 5. Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, came into the wilderness where Moses was in camp at the mountain of God, bringing Moses' son and wife to him. He said words to Moses, Ah, your father-in-law, Jethro, I'm coming to you with your wife and your two sons. Moses went out to meet his father-in-law. He bowed down and kissed him. Each asked after the other's welfare, and they went into the tent. Then Moses told his father-in-law all that the Lord has done to Pharaoh and to the Egyptian for Israel's sake. All the hardship that had beset them on the way and how the Lord had delivered them. Jethro rejoiced for all the good that the Lord had done to Israel and delivering them from the Egyptian. Verse 10. Jethro said, Blessed be the Lord who has delivered you from the Egyptian and from Pharaoh. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all gods because he delivered the people from the, from the Egyptian when they dealt arrogantly with them. And Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, brought a burnt offering and sacrifices to God. And Aaron came with all the elders of Israel to eat bread with Moses' father-in-law in the presence of God. 13. The next day, Moses sat as, as judge for the people while the people stood around him from morning until evening. When Moses' father-in-law saw all that he was doing for the people, he said, what is this that you are doing for the people? Why do you sit alone while all the people stand around you from morning till e until evening? Moses said to his father-in-law, Because the people come to me to inquire, to inquire of God. When they have a dispute, they come to me, and I decide between one person and another. And I make known to them the statute and instruction of God. Moses' father-in-law said to him, What are you what you are doing is not good. You will surely wear yourself out, both you and those people with you. For the task is too heavy for you. You cannot do it alone. 19. Now listen to me. I will give you counsel and God be with you. You should represent the people before God and you should bring their cases before God. Teach them the statute and instruction and make known to them the way they are to go and the things they are to do. You should also look for able men among all the people, men who heal God. Are trustworthy and hate dishonest gain. Set such men over them as officers over thousand, hundred, hundred, fifties, and tens. Let them sit as judge for the people at all time. Let them bring every important cases case to you but decide every minor case themselves, so it will be easier for you, and they will bear the burden with you. 
If you do this, and God has command, and God so command you, then you will be able to endure, and all these people will go to their home in peace. So Moses listened to his father-in-law and did all that he had said. Moses chose able men from all Israel and appointed them as heads over the people, as officers over thousands and hundred fifties and tens, and they and they judge the people at all time. Hard cases they brought to Moses, but minor cases they decide themselves. Twenty seven. Then Moses let his father-in-law depart and he went off to his own country okay he went off to his own country now let's go back okay verse 18 chapter 18 chapter 18 jethro gave administrate administrative advice he gave him leadership advice commander's advice how to deal with the with those people around him okay they would have to deal with that alternate from Genesis from Exodus 18 verse 1 to 27 Exodus 18 verse 1 to 27 that's what he was pretty much talking about advices how to lead the people alternate version of the story in which Jethro is not involved occur in Numbers 11 10 to 30 and also in Deuteronomy 1 verse 9 to 18 let me say that again so you could write it down, take your pen, write it down. Alternate version of this story in which Jethro, which is Moses' father-in-law, is not involved, occur in number 11, verse 10 to 30, and also in Deuteronomy 1, verse 9 to 18. Okay? So let me write it was 18. Okay, let me get down. In Exodus 18, verse 1 to 27. Let's concentrate on verse 1 for now. Verse 1. The name of Moses' father in law, Jethro, here. But the name varies in other biblical tradition. His name is sometimes Reuel, Ruel, in Exodus 2, verse 18, or Hobab in number 10, verse 29, and also. And, and Judge 4, verse 11. I told you that before when we was reading it, and we were reading Exodus 2, that his name was Ruel, that's R-E-U-E-L. Okay? Jethro's name. And give you the other verses again, and his name was Hobab, H-O-B-A-B, and Numbers 10, verse 29, and Judge 4, verse 11. Now, move up to verse 2. The verse 2. Moses, Midianite, Midianite wife, Zipporah. That's Z I P P O R A H, Zipporah. And Exodus 2, verse 21, and also in verse 22. Went with Moses from Midian to Egypt in Exodus 4, verse 20. At some point, Moses has sent his wife, sent her away. And now you see Jethro 
You see, Jethro bring her and the two sons back to join Moses on verse 5 and 6. He didn't tell me the, he didn't tell exactly when they sent her back. But I know she, know she went, she left Midian, went down to Egypt when, when Moses was first going back to Egypt, went to Egypt on Exodus 4 verse 20. And then, I guess before they, they, they departed Egypt, she went back home to her father, and her father bring her back on verse 5 and 6 with her children that she had. Now, on verse 3, Gershom, okay? On Gershom. Let's go back to Deuteronomy, not Deuteronomy, Exodus 2 verse 22. I don't know why I'm going to watch to, to get to do the water before. Okay, my lips is moving a bit faster than I want. We're going to get to do the water me soon. Um, on Exodus 2, 22. She bore a son and he Name him Gershon, for he said, I have seen an alien residing in a foreign land. I have, for I have been an alien residing in a foreign land. That was Moses, right? Moses in verse 21. That's what he called his, his son. Da, 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 da. Uh, on verse 3, I'm sorry, on verse 3, on verse 3, on verse 3, the name of, the name of one was Gershon, right, that was Moses, Son, verse three. Now, the name Elazar, um, verse four. Elazar. Does E L I Z E R means God is helped. Elazar, and um, verse four. God is helped. And the name of the other Elazar. For he for he said. The God of my father was my help and deliver him and deliver me from the sword of Pharaoh. The God of my father was my help and he delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh. So the name Elizer means my God is helped. Help. Now, in verse 5, the mountain of God is Mount Herob, otherwise known as Mount Sinai, in Exodus 3, verse 1. Okay? Exodus 3, verse 1. Mount Herob is also Mount Sinai. So when somebody said, they're going up to the mountain, they're going to, they're going to, uh, they're going to, up oh, Mount Sinai, it just said that I was going to say, I'm going to Mount Herod, to the mountain of Herod. Okay? Now, um, on, on 21, we're skipping all the way up to 21. These numbers, these numbered, Division of the population most often appear in military context according to 2 Samuel 8 verse 1 and verse 21, right? Let me show it to you. You should also look for able men among all the people, men who feel God are 
trustworthy and hate dishonest gain. And, and such men over and such men over them as officers over thousands, hundreds, s you know, s thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. S, 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 not 50, 100, 1,000, no. There was millions, there was thousands of them. So, you gotta, so, the next time you're gonna see those kind of numbers um, is in a military, military con, um, context where, you know, when they say, say, okay, the tribe, the military was 10,000, they come, they come and attack, 15,000 come to attack, the size of the military and God defeated Feed it a hundred thousand, whatever the amount. These were large numbers, okay. And the reference for that is from Second Samuel eight, Second Samuel eight verse eleven, okay. So may the peace of God be with you, may He guide you, protect you, increase your knowledge, your wisdom for the Word, open your heart to receive it, open your memory. So you could remember everything that that you were just listening to and hopefully you applied it into your life. May the grace of God be upon your home, your family, your children, everything that you do, your job. May you have health, because your health is your is your prosperity. Without health, you have nothing. So may the, may the Lord build you up, strengthen you up. Build up your immune, and everyone who come into contact with you, may they may they also be blessed. Share this page so you could evangelize, so other people could know how good God is, and also follow us on Facebook and also on YouTube, so you could know when the next video is gonna come out, so you could share it and, and evangelize and listen to it with your family and your friends and. And in your church group, you could use it as a Bible study moment because we're doing it chapter by chapter. So you could grasp every chapter of the Bible so you could be able to understand it a little bit more in depth. Amen. May the peace of God be with you. Shalom. Peace.